Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. If you're new, welcome to the channel, man. I am super excited to have you guys today. And today, we're gonna be running through my leg day. So guys, we're about to go to the gym right now. And basically, we're gonna be running through my leg day today. Um, so it's gonna be kind of different than what I normally post. Um, so what I plan to do is kind of just walk you guys through what I would normally do on my leg days. Sometimes I kind of change it up, but uh, they kind of stick to the same routine. So we're gonna do that. So I've had a couple people ask me on like Instagram and stuff, and if you guys ever do have any questions that you wanna ask me, you could go do that on Instagram because I normally always answer, um, I always answer my DMs. So I've had a couple people ask me kind of like what my workout routine is and what I actually do in the gym. Um, and I have some stuff written down, so I normally that's what I would send them, but I wanted to make some YouTube videos to actually uh, demonstrate what I do in the gym. So today we're going to be doing legs, and if you guys don't know what my split is, I do push-pull legs. Um, I've been doing it for a while, pretty much ever since I started working out. Push-pull legs is just so, uh, I guess, simple to understand that I've just been doing it for a long, a long time, and I kind of want to switch it up. Uh, to push pull legs Arnold, which is just push pull legs, and then you do chest back, and then you do shoulders, arms, and then you do legs again. So, just to get a little variation, I kind of wanted to start doing that. But before I start doing that, I want to show you guys what I do on my leg day, which is today, and then I'm going to show you guys some other videos. I'm going to make some other videos where I show you guys uh, what I do for push and then what I do for pull. Ugh. And before I get started and get going to the gym, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm more of a power builder. So I like to emphasize both strength and, Jesus, and bodybuilding. I do both. Um, right now I'm more focused on bodybuilding really because I, uh, I'm kind of lean, well, leaner than I used to be. So I uh, am focusing more on bodybuilding, but I'm not letting my strength go. So for example, today I'm going to be doing squats and I'm gonna be doing like a three by three or something pretty heavy on it because I'm not trying to have my squat drop like a uh, 100 pounds or something. So basically we're gonna start with a uh, heavy compound and then we're just gonna go into some bodybuilding workouts. And again, before we go, sorry, I'm kind of interrupting, but I know I look like the biggest virgin of all time wearing this this shirt, but I'm repping, bro. I'm repping one of the best creators I'm in the industry. He's, I mean, the GOAT. The GOAT. I don't know if I can say that, if you, if you can say that yet, but I, I, I genuinely love the fit of this. Like, it makes it look like I don't even lift, which is, I don't know, when you take the shirt off, boom. Then you look big, so we're hitting legs today, so we're, that, that, that's relevant. But yeah, so my legs look up without no, without a pump, pretty small. Alright, guys. So before I get going to the gym, I just want to let you guys know that uh, I might not record every single exercise. I'm going to record the mo the more important ones, but. Um, like there's an area in the gym that's kind of packed and there's a lot of people in there so I don't really want to make anyone uncomfortable and I don't want to get my camera stolen so if there are a lot of people there I might not record it I'll probably record the machine and be like I, I do three sets of 12 here you know what I mean so I don't want to make anyone uncomfortable and I definitely don't want to get my camera stolen so if that is the case I'll let you guys know and I'll talk to you guys about it later so yeah but I'll try to record everything I can so Let's get it. Alright guys, so there's a ton of people here. Like, so many, but basically what I do for warm-ups is I rolled out, I did a little bit of like PVC stuff for my shoulders because they kind of felt odd. And um, 
I like to do kind of just sitting in a squat for like 30 seconds and then grabbing a 25, doing the same thing, kind of wiggling around, getting the hips loose. And then I like to do lateral lunges and that's pretty much all I do for coming up on squats. Um, and now I'm just going to squat heavy and yeah, I'll show you guys probably the top set. If I can get 365, I'll, I'll try that. So, yeah. Sleeves are coming on because the legs hurt right now. The knees hurt specifically, probably. I don't know. I just like to put my knee sleeves kind of on kind of early. We got two plates on, so see how this goes. All right, so we got three plates. We got three plates on right now. I plan on doing this for three, and then 335, and then 365, both for three. And see how that feels. So, you know, if that three, I don't even know if I could get 365, honestly. So, I mean, we'll try it, but if it doesn't go well, that's tough. <laughs> It's kind of heavy. I want to. It's kind of heavy. with uh, squats. Uh, I just did like a 3x3, three 315 three, for 3, 335 for 3, 365 for 3. So nothing crazy like volume or anything. But now we're on hack squat. And I'm gonna try to do four by eight here. If you guys don't have a hack squat at your gym, I recommend do like uh, Smith Machine squats with like heel elevated or like a goblet squat or something. But yeah, this is when it gets like really painful. This is when it gets really painful, so it's it's worth it though. These hack squat gives you some big ass legs, so we're gonna get into it. Alright guys, so I just finished with the uh, hack squat. I just did 4 by 8 I didn't do a drop set, but I'm absolutely dead right now. But now we moved on to the Smith Machine. And we're going to be doing Smith Machine RDLs. I just like doing Smith Machine RDLs because, I don't know, it just feels the best to me. I like doing it on a plate, and I don't go too heavy on these because if I go heavy, I feel it more in my lower back but you're trying to get your hamstrings and your glutes out of this. So, I like to go pretty light and you'll see how I do it, but um, 
kind of go slow and explode up and you really want to feel a stretch in your hamstrings but I'm dead right now so I, I normally do like a lot of reps on this I don't again I don't go heavy so I like to do a lot of reps so like I'd say like 3x12 on this is what I normally do and uh, yeah let's go hit these alright guys so on RDLs um, you could have I see a lot of people going wrong you could have a slight bend in the knee and you really just want to feel the stretch in your hamstring bro like that's what RDLs are for uh, your glutes and your hamstrings so um, yeah really just feel the stretch and if you guys are wondering somewhere these are uh, Reeboks I don't know what they're called but they got the elevated wheel at the uh, bottom and I, I got these like a couple years ago when I was um, like two years ago when I first learned how to you know squat and stuff they really helped me with my depth so if you guys are having any trouble with depth I recommend getting an elevated heel but if you don't have an elevated heel too you want to be squatting in like bands or converse something flat not um, like cushion shoes like uh, running shoes you don't really want to be squatting in running shoes because that's going to take a little bit of the uh, shock and absorption I think from uh, your squats so you're not going to get squat as much and it's kind of unstable so you want to be wearing flat shoes when you're squatting but, but yeah let's get into the next exercise also on RDL sorry I'm talking a lot um, you don't want to go all the way to the bottom because that could damage your lower back you kind of want to go to where it starts to feel a little uncomfortable and um, you want to stop there go back up and if you go too low it's going to hurt your lower back so you don't want to do that all right guys so i just finished up two more exercises which i didn't show you and that was being hamstring curls i did three by 12 on those um i went to failure pretty much on the last set because that's my last hamstring exercise and then i went to uh leg extensions jesus christ my hair looks so weird what the hell um and then i went to uh leg extensions and did a triple drop set. I had 3x12 triple drop set on the last one. My legs are fried right now. But we're finishing up with uh, calf raises. And I do like 3x12 to 15. Slow. Feel the stretch. And then after each set, I stretch each calf for 30 seconds. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. But. Legs. Can't even flex them right now, but yeah, let's do the uh, calf raises. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the workout, honestly. Um, sometimes I do more of a, a hamstring focus day, which was not today. I only did two hamstring exercises. But sometimes I'll throw in like an extra hamstring, sometimes I'll throw in like a, um, what is it called? A glute? Shit. I forgot what it's called, but like the, the one where it looks like you're humping the bar. Um, and just to show you guys what calf machine I'm using right now, it's the, uh, I don't know if you can see, the seated one. My legs are so pumped, my quads are so pumped up right now. It hurts to uh, like put this the, the pad on it, like squeezing it. So yeah, that's, that's a workout. Um, show you guys the pump, and then we'll go. Alright guys, so that's basically the workout. Hopefully I did a good job explaining what um, is supposed to be done. Um, and I don't know if I said this good enough, um, but basically that was kind of more of a quad focused leg day. So like, if you don't want to hit your quads as much, I wouldn't do hack squats. Sometimes I do like a single leg leg press. I really like that for my glutes because you get a really good um, range of motion on that. Uh, but yeah, basically that's what I do. Sometimes I don't do as many drop sets 
um, I just started doing drop sets because they get the blood flowing, they get the legs burning, and I really didn't have that before, so I was like, might as well include some drop sets, and they absolutely kill your legs. I mean, they make you sore, and it, but feeling sore isn't necessarily like the best thing for muscle growth, but it's also like you feel like you did a lot, so it's like, it, it just makes you feel more accomplished, I feel like. But now we're gonna go home, and we are going to, we are going to go home, get some protein, make some lunch, and I think we're gonna finish this video off. All right, let me put you guys on to the best protein powder I've ever had in my life. Bam! The Cocoa Pebbles ISO 100 is so good, bro. If you like, if you like chocolate protein powder, this is it's a, this is like that, but just better. It's just better. And if you like Cocoa Pebbles, I mean, come on, it's Cocoa Pebbles, bro. Come on. Um, but it's so good. It's so good. Mix it with some milk, eight ounces of milk, and then bam, you got the best drink of all time. Um, also, if you guys want to know what pre-workout I use, I, uh, I'll show you, show you guys this before. I just bought some more. Just bought, got a new tub of, uh, Gorilla. Gorilla. Derek, moreplatesmoredates.com. If you're watching this, I know you are. We got 60 subs. We got 60 subs out here. That's 60 people using my code on that gorilla. Just kidding. I know. I know we we are not even close to this level yet, but gorilla mode is really nice for the pump. I really like gorilla for the pump. But the energy is alright. I, I mean it's alright. Two scoops is amazing, but I don't use two scoops. But you see, I don't know if you guys can see mango peach. Uh, I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm kind of excited. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And if you guys have any suggestions for today, if I did a good job explaining, a bad job explaining, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.